Hudson, you about to get thick for summer. Okay. Ooh, it's coming out. Whoa! <laughs> I feel like, do you remember those ponytails that used to just have like the spiky hair that would stick off of it? That's how I feel like my hair is. Wait, I only have, no, I've got two ponies. Oh, I feel like I, wait, what? <laughs> so, story time, when I was in college, he like left. Oh my God. Oh! <gasps> veggie fried rice, they're gonna be great. They're gonna be great. They're gonna be, oh, they're gonna be great. Look, babies, I don't wanna get too close because they'll start hissing at me. Can you see the babies? They're starting to turn already, but they're so fluffy. <gasps> wanted a Canadian goose as a baby not a meat baby like a baby and it would follow Winnie around when we'd go on walks I just think they're the most beautiful birds they're so pretty okay I'll leave you alone bye I saw you yesterday doing what it's your face what did I do? The test, taste test. Oh God. So, saw these things on TikTok the other day and I've never bought something so fast because I didn't know they made pre-made onigiri rolls. So, I'm gonna make them. I made some rice, Scott seasoned it, which I don't really think real onigiri. Quit eating all my dates, man. How many of you had today? It's so good. How many have you had? I don't know, like five. Scott Polson, you about to get thick for summer. That's all I ate on it. That's not something to be proud of, bro. All right, so, while Scott's getting thick off of dates, I'm gonna get thick off of onigiri. All right, so we got tuna. I can't see, because I'm on my tripod. But I'm gonna mash this up with a little bit of QB mayo. Okay. So, can I help you, sir? <clears throat> can you put some of that in there? Okay. Every day for breakfast. I lived in Japan. I didn't eat the tuna ones a ton, I ate more salmon ones and the just plain like sea kelp. But I know Neilani had the tuna ones a lot as well. So these things prevent the seaweed from touching the rice. Same thing with sandwiches in Japan, it's phenomenal. And um, I just didn't know they sold them in stores. Well, on the Amazon. I had never bought something so fast on TikTok, but I say that every single time I buy something on TikTok. Ooh, this is hot. Um, so, this uses a rice shaper. I don't have a rice shaper, so we're just gonna make do with what I do have, which is my hands. We're gonna rest on the old tuna can. So, yeah, that was way too hot, so. got to get easier, right? It goes right in the middle, I think. Now it goes towards the top. Okay. All right. Push. Okay. Push. Okay. Now. I think you fold this in like such. Up 
and under and up and under. Okay. Oh, it's coming out. <gasps> it's working. Okay, okay, okay. I think I got it. Oh my god. Oh, I did it. Oh my God. It's crooked. <laughs> Are you trying scotchula? Okay. It's time for the reveal. I didn't do too bad. It's kind of crooked. It's kind of crooked. So you take. And then this part peels out. Oh frick, that didn't work. Uh-oh. Wait, oh yeah, no, no, we're good. <sighs> See? Did you get cool. it? Oh, yeah. Cool. All right, when are you gonna make one for you? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Oh, oh man. Look at that. Like this? Look down right there. Okay. My little donkey. Whoa! All right, ready? Too much windows. Ready? I'm, I'm gonna so tell you. Way. Okay, ready? Red means stop. Okay. Yellow means slow down. Green means go. Red means stop. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Red means stop. Yellow means slow down. Green means go. <laughs> All right, you do it's it my turn. Whoa. Okay, you do it to me. Ready? Yeah. Okay. It's okay, Arlo. You can just leave it there, buddy. Okay. I'm gonna... Green meat! Hey, okay, hold on. Uh-oh. Jeez, you almost ran your bike. Red meat, stop! Hey, Red, stop. Stop! Yeah? Can I go on here and jump like me? Good. Stand right yeah. here and do it. Okay, I'm gonna get your bike out of the road. Wow! Because somebody almost ran it over. Get it, put it right down so I can start. Right now! Go right there and I jump. Right here? No, right there. Oh. Far. Here? Right here. Yeah, right there. Okay. Whoa, that was a big jump. Hey, what's this? Hey, let's go see what other cool things we can find. Hello, good morning, happy Friday. I did two workout classes today. It's feeling a little ambitious, but it was good. Look at these sweet little flowers that Arlo made me for Mother's Day, but he keeps trying to give them to Scott for Mother's Day. So I don't think we fully grasp, but they're cute and I love them. Um, made my breakfast. My, I'm trying the protein yogurt from Aldi today. And then the Catalina Crunch cereal. Strawberries, blueberries. Iced coffee. This is the coconut one from Trader Joe's. Um, what else, Jeff? I have a lot to get done today. To pack. And, um... I'm like so excited for our little staycation. It's gonna be awesome. So, gonna get some work done on my computer. I know I have an edit, a video to edit. I saw these two hairstyles on Instagram and I think Instagram only. Um, maybe one on TikTok. 
and I really want to try them because I think they'll be super cute. I'm trying to like show you so you can see me in bold spots, but I don't know if that's gonna be possible. So the first one is this low bun. I'm about to wash my hair, so I figured I would do it before I wash my hair. So the first one is this low bun that she does. She like takes her hair and puts it in a low pony. Hi, Miss Rannies. And takes a scrunchie. I think her scrunchie is bigger than my scrunchie, but it's gonna be fine, hopefully. And then she takes, one more time. And then she takes and like, yeah, my pony needs to be bigger. She spreads her hair out and takes another pony and like poofs it out. I don't know what that looks like. And then she takes and like wraps I feel like my hair is just not gonna work like hers does. She like takes and wraps this. No, this is not the vibe. <laughs> I feel like, do you remember those ponytails that used to just have like the spiky hair that would stick off of it? That's how I feel like my hair is. She took and like put her little hairs in ponytails, like little rubber bands, but that would look crazy on me. But basically like it won't move. And I was like, that would be nice for the gym, but then now I'm like, I don't know about all that. Maybe I could just tuck it back under. And I'm mad at that. It is literally not going anywhere. Okay, I'm not mad at that. All right, the first one. Okay, the second one's a little more challenging. So let's get some rubber bands. I don't think my hair is as short as her, but I'm hoping it'll still work. like kind of like a french braid but not isn't that cute i feel like i've been just like in a blah mood with my hair recently which is why i'm like wanting to try some new things okay. oh my god i tried the, the freaking remember the batiste dry shampoo debacle and the fact that they sent me a, an empty one i should have just told them i wanted my money back because y'all i the reason why my hair is so purple whoop, because I used my purple shampoo because I thought my hair was yellow, but it was that freaking dry shampoo. It literally is not for like your brassy blondes. This is for like your, your golden blondes. Like it made my hair yellow. I was like, you can kind of see it up here, but like a yellow green. I was like, ew, why? It's got so many good reviews. So I guess if you have like yellowy blonde hair, you might like it, but like, I was not a fan. This, I wish my mom was here. <laughs> my mom used to do my hair like every day for school. I feel like this would look better with curls in your hair too, like loose curls, but for the sake of it, we're just trying. Okay, so I've got my two ponies. Now I need to rewatch the video because I don't remember what happened after that. <laughs> I think I've got it. So now I take this down. Yeah, dude, what? Like, mm-mm. I did something real wrong. The fact that these girls think of this is just so impressive. Wait, I only have, no, I've got two ponies. Oh, I feel like I, wait, what? <laughs> this is so tricky. This will never be an everyday gym look for me. Uh, okay, I think I'm getting the hang. But then what about the last one? Should I bring that around this side? I'm just confused at this point now. Well, I think I nailed that a little bit more than the first time, right? Hey, that's not bad. So cute. Okay, following her. She's from UK. She's adorable, and I like her style too. Yay, that was cute. Okay, let's get to packing. All right, this is like future Kelly, way in advanced, realizing that I think a lot of people struggled with that hairstyle that I just showed you because she created a video in slow motion explaining. So I'll be trying it again, um, but yeah. I must have not been the only one that failed, but I must have not been the only one who thought it was amazing. So, yeah. Just thought I'd let you know. If you like that hairstyle, check out her new, like, slow down tutorial on her channel, or on her Instagram, because it's very easy to follow now. Okay, so, oh my, phone. my computer, quick story time. I was looking at H&M, because I have a cart full of stuff that I want to buy, but there's no sales going on. I'm like, mm, no, we only buy stuff on sale. 
especially H&M, because their prices, ma'am. Anyway, I'm like looking on H&M, and I see this bathing suit, and girl, she's look, she, they look good in this bathing suit, right? These are cute. Like, not for me. They're very dominatrix for me. But if they're your style, go for it. It's the new Mung, Mug, Moogler, Moog, whatever. So, story time. When I was in college, I don't, I think it was when I was still, I was filming videos, but I don't think I ever showed this guy that I was dating or really even talked about him. It was very brief. Um, he, like, lacked social skills, to be honest with <laughs> Anyway, um, he was like a friend of Mike's and we were like dating a little bit. He was a year ahead of me in college. So he graduated before I did and then like would come back and visit every once in a while. So this time he came to visit, I think he came for like Gasparilla and it just didn't go well because he, he gave very like controlling vibes and I was like, mm, no, thank you, sir. I'm good. But he came from like, and we, I also visited him in New York. Anyway, he came from money. His family like created the night vision technology for the, the binoculars in the army or whatever. Not that that matters, but he had a lot of money. So he bought me this bathing suit, right? And it looked like that. And I was like, if you know me at all, you know I would not wear something like that. That's just like not my style, not my taste, nothing, right? So like, he like left. Oh my god. <gasps> There's a spider in my plant. <gasps> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna need Scott to get that out ASAP. I will record so you know what I'm talking about. Oh my god, he blends. Whoa! I'm throwing up. Okay. I'm gonna keep my eye on him. He's not moving. He's he's camouflaged. I'm gonna throw up. But Anyway, he buys me this bathing suit and he like leaves because we like, I was just like, I'm not, I'm not interested in this. I was like, I'm not, mm -mm. So he left Tampa and went back to his house and he left, left me this bathing suit. It's like a gift, right? So I'm like, mm, I try not, I'm like, sir, the first, it was like a bandage and, and it was like an extra small. And again, mm -mm, girl, I am not an extra small. Everything about it, I was like, no. So I was like, okay the heck so I had to look up where this thing was sold because I was like I'm not keeping this maybe I can return it and like put it back on his card because I was like I don't want nothing to do with him Neiman Marcus it was an $850 bathing suit I was like a who spends that much on a freaking bathing suit B it was hideous so it's from Neiman Marcus so I go to Neiman Marcus and I'm like hey this is it like this is my situation like I just want is it under I'm sure he has like a an account with y'all like um, can you just like return it back to his card? And they're like, oh no, we can't do that. And I was like, are you serious? Like, I don't want to like owe this guy anything. Like, just put it back on his credit card. And they're like, no. And then they're like, we can give you store credit. And I was like, okay. And I was like, I don't even shop at Neiman Marcus. Like, I'm in college. Like, I don't shop at Neiman Marcus, okay? So I get this $850 or like, I think it was almost $1,000. I don't remember exactly, but it was a lot of money. And I get a store merch card and I was like, okay, what the heck am I gonna do with that? I go online because you can like sell merch cards of companies to like this third party company and then they sell it to other people for like cheaper. So like you go on this site and you're like, okay, I wanna buy this from Apple and somebody from Apple didn't want the Apple gift card and so they'd like sell it to this and so whatever. It's kind of sketchy, but they did it. So they took my, my um, I think it was a thousand dollars because I got eight fifty back from the company that I sold it to. They gave me eight hundred and fifty dollars in cash, and I was like, "Sick!" I bought a laptop. <laughs> I bought my MacBook. I was like, I told him, I was like, "Do you want the money? Do you want me to send you back the card?" He's like, "No, it was a gift." And I was like, "Okay, but this is I don't like it, so I'm gonna return it." And we never talked again. And I bought a laptop because I'm practical. <laughs> And then I like took off with YouTube. So I'm like, it's a happy story. But um, yeah, that bathing suit just like triggered all those memories. Who spends who spends $1,000 on a bathing suit? Who buys someone a bathing suit in general? Who buys me a bandagey strappy bathing suit in an extra small? I put that thing on, I looked like a busted can of biscuits. It was not a vibe. And I felt real guilty. I tried to give him it back, but. Anyway, we never spoke after that point, so. It probably meant nothing to him, but for me, I was like, $850? What the shoot? 
what the shoot or Arlo <laughs> Arlo likes to say what the dang <laughs> my very irrational in my brain rational thoughts are like I can't leave this spot because at this moment he, as soon as I leave he's gonna start running and like go hatch eggs in like every corner of my apartment or my um, house and then I won't be able to sleep because he's definitely gonna crawl into my mouth good thing I'm not sleeping here tonight but he'll like wait for me and crawl into my mouth when I'm sleeping and lay eggs and they'll just start crawling out of my nose I'll be known as spider girl Arlo would probably think it's pretty cool but like no this one time my brother told me that I eat spiders and I think that's true but like I was mortified as a kid and I wouldn't sleep for like a week I think that's older brother's jobs but I like need to get stuff done but I'm in crippling fear that if I leave he's gonna like freaking move he hasn't moved in the 10 minutes I've been here but he's gonna move he might be dead what's he living on? He so blends in, like, ugh, nature is wild, creepy, and disgusting. Okay, I have decided I'm gonna make you guys watch him while I go, so, thank you. At least I'll know if he, like, decides to move, I'll know which direction he moved in. This is giving me such bad anxiety. All right, update, spider's killed, I'm packed, I'm ready to go. It is two, a little after two, I have to drop wrinkles off at three, so I have to leave here in a couple minutes. Pick up Arlo, pack up, and we're leaving. So. I didn't know y'all could that much bacon. Uh, I didn't know. Hello, bacon. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. You're drooling. Dingaboo. No, we are chicka chickas. I love you so much, too. You do? Oh, you're the first. Hello, good morning, happy Monday. I just got done working out. I did two workout classes actually. I don't know where I'm going. I probably need to GPS this. I'm trying to run to Amazon. And I don't know what road I'm on. I think I need to go this way. Wait, oh, hold on. All right, figured out where I was going. Um, Happy Monday. I did two workout classes this morning. I did Pilates. And then I did like a strength training one, which I kind of wanted to get back into lifting some more weights. Um, so I was excited that they have this class and I just am like, I'm not like exhausted after Pilates and normally I'll take like a little walk, but now that it's nicer out, I can like walk outside after lunch, which is what I've been doing. So I decided to take this other one and I really liked it. I take bar with her as well. So good workout classes. We had an awesome weekend. It was so much fun, but Lake Geneva is beautiful there. The weather was like, not great but the area is stunning and it's so exciting that it's only an hour from our house um but I do have a question for you guys an area similar like that Nailani and I want to plan something for Father's Day like another weekend trip so good spots around here so tell me if there's a good spot similar to that within that like I don't want to be driving over two hours honestly um because i know there's like the dells and there's like michigan and stuff but um i'd like to keep it closest to here that's like a little like beach lake town not beach town lake town sort of thing where there's restaurants and stuff to do um for father's day is what we're thinking and steve's birthday is also that same mm, sorry that same week so you can let me know of some good spots that would be <clears throat> awesome if you're from the area but yeah it was really good and um I'm running to Amazon now because I have zero groceries, so I figured, I said I wanted to start shopping here and seeing what I think about their produce and stuff, so let's uh, run and do that and see, see what we end up spending. Alright, we'll do a quick little crochet haul. Nice drinks! Did you come downstairs? Hi baby love! Which mom I will trust we check and don't you? Hi! Alright. So Amazon was doing 20% off groceries in store of $50 or more for the whole month. So I was like, okay, I'm probably gonna shop here the rest of the month. They're always doing some sort of sale situation. I don't know if you can stack their sales though. I will find out soon because I have some Amazon returns to make and they always give you a coupon to spend in store. And that's like 
a certain percentage off of, or maybe it's money off of 40. So I don't know, we'll find out. But I got a rotisserie chicken. Their chickens are only um, $4.97. And they're nice to just have in the fridge. Like I need to pull it apart, but it's nice instead of lunch meat, it's like actually not like filler crap. It's just like full. So I figured we would go with that. Um, I grabbed the Fairlife uh, non-fat. I like this for my protein shakes. It's just super high in protein and good. Um, some cheese just to have because we I don't think we have any shredded cheese like in the fridge. And Scott's mom's coming into town, so I figured like breakfast tacos or just whatever to just have. I got six lime toko cheese. These are my favorite. If you've never tried Toko Chico's, you are seriously missing out. They're the best. Um, because they're like a mineral spring water, I guess. So they're not like, they're different. They just hit different than a Topo or a LaCroix, in my opinion. Add some tortillas, again, just to have um, breakfast tacos and whatnot. Frozen veggies. Last week I made, I don't think I even shared it with you guys. Last week I made um, chicken fried rice and it was bomb. And I'm gonna make that again this week. I'm actually gonna make it like right now, I think. Well, after I get some editing done. Um, but I just was through a bag of frozen veggies in there and that was awesome. I couldn't resist for a little Arlo Man. I remember having these when I was a kid, the dinosaur eggs, instant oatmeal. And we're gonna keep him home Thursday and Friday because Granny will be in town, so I figured that would be nice to have. I picked up a cauliflower. We even had cauliflower in a hot minute. Oh, some blueberries, which have been my favorite with my breakfast. Some mushrooms. I like to put the mushrooms. Did I put the mushrooms in the? I can't remember if I did that last time. Whatever. Um, I like to just have mushrooms. Bananas. Some Iggy's. And then two yellow onions. Okay, next bag. Some peppers. Some cucumber. I like doing like vinegar cucumbers. A zucchini. Tomatoes, some summer squash. I think I'm gonna do like a grilled like chicken with some veggies. Um, I got Scott some chorizo. He really likes it. And it's only $3.99 a pound at Bear versus Whole Foods. I got some wild caught cod, which I need to like chop up because she did not know what she was doing. Um, whatever. I also asked for a pound, she gave me a pound and a half. Whatever. And then chicken. I bought it just in bulk. I don't know if that's a better deal, but it said it was on sale. So I bought, I saved $21 with buy one, or the 20% off. Um, I got some asparagus. I'm gonna have asparagus in a hot minute. Some salt and vinegar tasty chips, because those just looked good. Some vanilla yogurt for Arlo. I feel like I didn't get that much stuff for $110, but some edamame for my fried rice. Some um, rice cauliflower. I put in a bag of rice and then rice cauliflower. I've never tried these and I kind of think they look good. <laughs> They're like um, Greek bread or German bread. Three grain bread. I don't know. They look, they look dense. I'm kind of here for it. And then I got some yogurts for me. I'm like, this is what yeah. So I'm gonna have one of these like while I go work because I need to work. And then um, and get all this stuff put together. Maybe I'm gonna go upstairs, work for a little while, get all this stuff put together or put away when I do my actual food. So yes, that's my little Monday grocery haul. Okay, so while my a little chicken is cooking up with the onions and the garlic, I put in just some like salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, even though I have fresh onion and garlic, just to amp up the flavor. It's a lot of chicken. Um, and then I also added sriracha salt from Trader Joe's because I really like it. But you don't have to. So the veggies that I add, I add pretty much this entire bag of mixed veggies um, into there. I'm gonna add some edamame this time for some extra protein. And then I put in one bag of cauliflower rice and I also put in one bag of like regular rice. I don't have normal rice this time. I only have like this kind from Trader Joe's, so we're just gonna use that this time. Oh no, I have jasmine rice, hold on. That's what we're working with. 
chicken veggie fried rice. Since my thing was too full, I decided to just fry the eggs over here. So I went and just fried them in a little bit of sesame oil for some flavor. And I'm gonna go ahead and combine. Probably could have done more than two eggs, but ugh, this is a lot of food, y'all. And then I'm gonna go ahead and separate it into giant containers because I have a lot of food. But I think I'm gonna season it a little bit more and see what I need for salt and stuff. Might throw a dash of ses or, um, soy sauce in there. All right, so I ordered the those undies that I was telling you about in the last video, the toe ones. We're gonna put them to the test. We're gonna see if they work. Just got done with my walk, um, and interesting. Um, I'm listening to the new podcast, or not the new one. It's podcast Cold, but I'm listening to season three. I don't actually think I listened to season two. Okay. These, I actually don't want them to be great because then I know I'm gonna, oh, they're gonna be great. Oh, they're gonna be great. They're gonna be great. They're gonna be great. They're gonna be, oh, they're gonna be great. If they're wide enough. You don't wanna be like flapping out, you know? I got the super high-waisted ones. I don't know, I'm gonna go try them on with my shorts and see. If they're great, I'm gonna need like five pair. If they're not, I go back to the drawing board. They're giving me period underwear. <laughs> they're thick, but they're kind of like a memory foam. This is very interesting. Okay, this part feels so like snug and hip hugging though. I got the like high waist ones. All right, let's go try it on. And then I also thought, I think Amazon sent me two, same package. And I also got, oh, I asked to have Arlo's records released from his previous doctor so I can get into this new doctor. Fully expecting them to send me paperwork. They sent me a CD and I'm like, I was not expecting that. I think I've ordered this bra in the past. I feel like I never like it, but I got in a medium. I don't think I have a medium or I've ever tried a medium. So I, they sent me two. So I'm gonna try this on with that set as well and see what I think about that, but I'm thirsty. Got some work to do, so let's get to it. It's hot in here. Completely ignore my messy room, but I know I'm being dramatic, but I think these are gonna change my life. I can like do the things and I stay there. It's like a jock strap for women. I'm obsessed. Okay, I need all of them. I need three more, four more pairs. <laughs> I'll leave them linked down below. They're a splurge, but if you work out, and don't want the thing, and just want your underwear to stay in place. These are so good. So this is the little purple set all put together. This is that new top that I got. I like this a lot. I feel enough covered. These are like, you won't have a ton of room if you uh, have like a short midline. I cannot get over this. This is, 